Let me get my breath. Trek, absolute trek. It's only three miles away to the van. I'm on the way to a camp now in the Lake District and this, we just had a massive storm in the UK, I forgot the name. But 120 mile an hour winds was like recorded yesterday. And today, I'm on a peak and it's almost silent. It's really still, you wouldn't think one of the worst storms that just hit yesterday in the UK. So uh, let's head up. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it snowed, it's pretty cool. But I've worked up a sweat, so I've got all my layers open. So uh, it's about 3 p.m. right now. I've got about two and a half hours left of daylight. So we're gonna get to campsite, get the tent up, cook some food and enjoy. Oh, look at the sun. I have missed you. You wouldn't think this was the Lake District at all. Oh, a couple of people up there. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at this, man. it's so just dead, can't hear anything, I can hear my heartbeat, that's about it. Got some airy, grey looking clouds over there, it's not too bad where we are. You've got people coming down in like, <laughs> it's all ski gear with ski glasses. You got me with like no grip on my shoes, <laughs> no gloves. It's not even that cold actually. But this uh, snow has been up here for a while, it's proper packed. You can see it's all like untouched. We're just heading along this track. And you know what? If the summit is relatively flat, the views up here are just insane. So I might camp up there. That is a big peak. Oh my. So I'm going to set up behind me. I'll show you around. So we're pretty much on the summit. The track's right there. But this is, so you've got fresh snow there next to the wall. It compacts down by like that much. So once my tent's on it, all the body weight's there, it'll go down a little bit, but it's really flat compared to everywhere else. We're behind like the little stone wall, so we're covered from the wind pretty much, and yeah, it's the best I'm gonna find, so it's good. We've got the sun, we got the views. What more could I want? All right then, let me get this set up and get some food on, because I am starving right now. You know, one thing I love about this tent is that it's so easy to put up. It may not be the lightest, in fact, it's very heavy for a one-man tent, but the simplicity of it makes you want to keep using it. It's definitely on its last legs, but I'm gonna run it into the ground until it gives up on me. I wanna show you some new, I've got a couple new things. I've got a, this is a quilt. It's a 950 fill down quilt. Goes to like minus one. So that should keep you nice and toasty. It's like so light, 400 grams. It goes to like a ball, like the size of my hand. It, yeah, wow. Uh, so that's an investment, but for the next few years, that should be good. And underneath, I've got a, a warmer sleeping pad, so I think that's a firm rest. It's called X Light. So it's light and keeps you nice and warm. Got my drone and whatever, um, a phone charger, power bank. Gonna eat that in a minute because I'm hungry. Water's in here so it doesn't freeze. Uh, got my gloves, my packs at the back. Got my uh, Trekology pillow there. Oh, I bought these as well. So these, I think I got these when I was in the army, so it's quite fitting. They're like G-loft kind of insulation. I think they're called booties and they keep your toes and feet nice and warm at night. So yeah, it's fitting conditions. 
So my toes should be nice and toasty. Got my warm kit. Got my socks. Brought a, uh, a mic with a wind sock because it's quite windy last time, but it's all right up here now. My torch, toothpaste, toothbrush for in the morning. I've got my fresh coffee mug. And that's pretty much it. And this is the Pierre's the resistance. That's how you say it. So shout out to whoever it was in the comments last video. He said I should get a locally brewed beer of whatever like national park I'm going to. So this time the Lake District. So I found one. <laughs> this is the Lakes Brew Company and a New England Session IPA. So that is going to be enjoyed with the most iconic Cumbrian dish. So Cumberland sausages. I got the chipolatas so they cook quicker. I was going to get the ring one but they didn't have any in Asda so yeah whatever. And I've got some mash. So I've got some smash there which you know like the powdered mash. So we're going to have Cumberland sausage, mash and onion gravy. Like, <laughs> doesn't get any better on top of this little mountain hill. Oh, so yeah, every national park, I'm gonna get like this signature dish and a locally brewed beer or IPA probably. Oh, it's just, you can hear a pin drop. It's so silent. All right. Uh, let's make this. We've got about an hour and a half left of daylight and then I'm going to get my noggin down. put this around it just I don't know it wasn't working properly so this is actually protecting it there's a little bit of wind right coming just through the bottom just waiting for these sausages cut the onion up uh, once they're done I'm gonna get them on the plate fry the onion off and then put the onions and sausages on the plate and then I can do the mash once the mash is done, get it on the plate and then get the gravy on the go. And then just plate up and I can't wait to taste that. It looks so good. You can't tell me anything that beats this, honestly. Uh, well, I'm hungry, so. I'm trying to get it to tell me. Just an energy boost. Mm mm mm. Just taking the sausage out. I'm gonna put them in there just to stay that little bit warmer. Got the uh, onion on the go. Tell you what, this little uh, windbreak thing for a stove is so light and just small. It comes in handy. But who remembers this as a kid? Smash, just like the, uh, the instant mash powder you had hot water to. I seen it the other day and I was like, yes. Smash on. Smells of potato as well. Mm -hmm. Give that a mix. The, I think the trick with this is just to go slow because if you add too much, you've got to add more water. Oh, it's going to be so much flavour in this. Ooh. Take a look. I know they're not burnt bits. They are not burnt bits. Don't let me hear it. <laughs> so what we got, some luxury beef gravy granules. Look at these views. Just while my food's cooking, I keep just literally staring at him like wow <laughs> wow look over there though 
Look at them clouds. They're coming right over for us, I think. And that sunset behind there. Not bad, not bad. All right, water's boiling. Let me get the gravy on and get eating, because I'm, oh. Nice thick gravy. Oh, oh, oh. Not too shabby. It's a bit cold, I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> uh, I'm still gonna eat it, I'm starving. That's all right, that. Look at that, Cumbria's finest. I'm pretty sure that counts as the latest trip, right? Let me know if you're from there. So uh, let's get this. There. And get you. Come in now. So it's been chilling. Let's have a taste. Mm. Hoppy, citrusy. Wow, hazy, hoppy, and tropical, that's the description. Yeah, nice, very nice. That's better than the uh, the Buxton one. Mm. Only 4.7 though. Late this trip, not bad, not bad. Give that an eight, eight and a half maybe. I'll get some. Cumberland sausage and gravy. Oh, I made the right call getting them chipolatas because they're like smaller, so they cook a lot quicker. Smash. Let's have a look at that. Mm. You could taste herbs in it. I'll just cook this on top of a summit. What am I doing? Mm. Sorry, don't mind me, I'm hungry. All right. So, I'm gonna be doing this, like I just said before in the, uh, how many have I got left now? I've done the Peter Strict, Yorkshire Dales, and this is the third one, so Lake District, so. I think I've got 12 left, if I'm not mistaken. 12. There's 15 and I've done three, so yeah, 12 left. So that means 12 more craft IPAs, if I can find them, and signature dishes, so I'm looking forward to it. Should be good. I don't think I'm ever gonna get like, I'm never gonna beat the weather. I've been really lucky. <laughs> it should be pouring down right now and just wind, gale force winds. All right, that's enough appreciation. I'm hungry. Mm. I'm gonna eat this. I'll, I'll check back in after I've just <laughs> scoffed all this. Very good, Lakes Brew Company, shout out. That's what I'm doing then. So I've got some snow. I'm just washing out the uh, pan. I haven't got much water left, actually. I've got enough for rinsing my teeth out when I brush them and enough for a coffee. So, yeah, just scoop some up. I suppose it's a, it's a better way. All right, so that's everything clean and away. So... We're good until the morning. I'm just gonna brush my teeth right now. Say we've got 15, 20 minutes of daylight left. So I'm gonna just brush them quickly and just chill for the night then. So, where is it? There we go. Wind's picked up just a little bit. It's not as still as before. A guy went past, I think he was like Dutch or something. He just said, have a nice night and 
So uh, I've got a good, good weather window. This is beautiful. Look at that. So we're there. This is the main track. Oh, oh, oh. oh, toasty. Plus, I've got these on as well. Oh my god. Socks. I've got my slightly wet, damp socks drying. Well, they'll probably freeze overnight, but all good. I've got these, so I've got my thermals on. All thermal. I think I came in at the perfect time. I keep getting gusts of wind just howling past. I'm so thankful for this little old crappy tent. It's, I'd say, 15 degrees warmer in here than it is out there. But I've got a few movies saved on my phone, so I'm just going to chill for an hour and a half, two hours, and then get some kip. But I'm not going to have any problems with being cold tonight, I can tell you that. My feet are toasty right now. And the last couple of times, they haven't been so... More. I'm not even in my sleeping bag. I haven't got my hat on. <laughs> These thermals are decent as well. So yeah, really happy. Really happy now. I just I think it looks so much better. I was thinking to myself before, I would much rather be cold and dry than wet and warm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just wet is the worst. I was I was thinking I was like if I was wet right now, I would be so miserable. <laughs> but I'm not. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to chill out. All the stuff's done. So tomorrow I'm going to get up at half seven for a sunrise. I think about them. Make a nice coffee. Have a banana. I think I've got another cereal bar, so we'll have one of them. Set up. Have a last look around. Depending on the weather, I think it actually said it's going to sleet or rain. So we'll see. But, yeah, pack up and then head back down. I've enjoyed it so far, so yeah, I'll see you all in the morning. Morning everybody, can you hear this? The wind has been howling, the tent has been shaking, just condensation, it has been soaking up here. So, yeah. I don't even think I've got, like, just wait, let me. There's no chance I'm making a coffee in this. Ah, the tent just shakes. Yep. Yeah, there's really no chance of making a coffee or doing anything outside the tent in this weather. So there's like a complete whiteout up here. It's been like this all night. So yeah, quick update though. The sleeping pad and the quilt, really good, really, really good. Kept me nice and toasty. My toes are still warm right now. I think it's about, ah, God. It's not even funny. Anyway, that's what you get for camping out just a day after a massive storm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pack up as soon as possible and quickly as possible and get down.
just had to cross that. I've lost one of my tent poles, so probably never going to use this tent again. Good job, I've got a new tent coming soon. Oh, that was horrible. Like, all the way up there. Like, that water is literally zero degrees. Anyway, Lake District, it was fun.